What is going on, guys? This is Riv from Wolfpack Productions, and tonight I'm going to be covering something that Wisp and in the uh, tribute so, tribute Discord server asked me to cover. This is how to make graphics for WWE 2K24 using Adobe After Effects. Now, this is one of two tools you're going to need. We'll see the other one just a little bit later. It's called Rad Video Tools. Anyway, <clears throat> I'm. This is assuming you all know how to search for stuff. Anyhow. We're going to be working with a Sasha Memory Banks here tonight. It's custom graphics package tonight. I'll be doing the Titan turn. I'll be doing the apron. I'll be doing everything. Which is going to be I mean this video is going to be in parts. <clears throat> However, I'm not going to be showing you how to install these. That's going to be part of the series that I'm going to be working with a program called Tribute for a little bit later on. This is for WWE 2K24 on PC, which means it will not work on consoles. End of story. Now, the Titantron creation is pretty simple. I've already got my stuff imported, so I'm not going to redo it. <clears throat> but you would go to import file or import multiple files if you want to do everything all at once, which would be ideal. But I'm going to go ahead and do new. new composition and I'm gonna make sure it has the right sizing which is gonna be 1280 by 320 and you can also if you would like to you can name this Titantron preset if you wish and it changed the sizing on me yeah And there you have it. You'll get that. And this is where you want to import the background that you're going to be using. In my case, it's this right here. Since we're going to be working with Sasha Memory Banks and stuff. And what you want to do is you want to go up here to Comp 1, click it. You're going to click, drag that in. Hit Transform fit to comp and you have that now to add the text you click the T up there in the upper corner I'm gonna switch this off of varsity regular because I was using that for something else earlier pick whatever font you like whatever you think fits I'm gonna go ahead and type out my name for right now it will stay where it is in terms of font because we're gonna be experimenting with that in just a minute <clears throat> now, if you recall correctly, from WWE 2K20, Memory Banks had a, a gimmick of a computer geek, or a genius type. So, I'm going to pick something that I think would fit her, which is not bad, obviously, but... Let's say, for example... I'm gonna use no that doesn't work either I'm gonna go with what was that font I was using earlier that'll work for right now that will do we have that you can make it bold or whatever you want to do with it and that's basically it for the Titan font so how on the export but and although it's not done, I want it animated. So, this is completely optional. You can do this if you want. I would, though. You go to Effects and Presets. And I already have it done to text. And then you can choose whatever you want. One of these. Choose whatever you want here. I am going to do something that looks like it. Since we're working with computer typewriter, would work quite well. And then we're going to go ahead and export that. Add to render queue. <clears throat> and then click not yet specified down here, and you're going to name it whatever you want. I'm going to call it SMB Titan for the sake of this video. And we'll hit replace because I already had something saved with that. And then finally hit render. Shouldn't take that long. 
And while that's doing that, we will pause right here. All right, we're back, and what you're looking at now is the Titantron layout. It was made for WB 2K22, but will still work on 24. It's either made for 22 or 23, but you get the point. Anyway, you're looking at every part of the stage. <clears throat> and you're going to import what you want to use in there. For example, for me, I'm going to go to import multiple files. And I'm going to say... I go S we're going to use SMB Titan Draw. We're going to use that. So we have both those files. And then hit Done. And then wherever you want to start, you can start. I'm going to start with TD Ramp here. And I'm going to put this here. But again, you're going to do the same thing as before. You're going to click... I forgot to mention this before, but you want to time stretch this to 40 seconds. 45 in some cases. Between 40 and 45 is great. And anyway, transform. Fit to comp. And you got it. And then you have a nice little layout for your... Your... <coughs> what do you call it? For your ramp there. And then you're going to repeat the process with every last one of these other parts. And I'm going to do the same thing. I will be right back when I'm done. You don't forget it. I'll do the rest later. So basically you'll repeat that for everything. I'm not actually going to save because like I said, I'm not done with this stuff yet. So you'll again go to add render queue. And basically you'll make sure I just, I forgot to say this. Make sure you hit layout. You click on layout. Or it's going to give you just one part of it. Layout will give you everything. And then you and again click on this time layout guide empty for call it whatever you want. I'm not saving it because I'm not done. Yet. So <clears throat> when you're all done with that, this is gonna be the same way you do everything. Let's hop over to Brad Video Tools and I'll show you what I mean. So what we're gonna do here. What am I doing here? <laughs> Excuse me a sec. Gotta clear that. Uh, yeah. Up, let's hit cancel. There we go. There it is. Okay, so we're going to go find the SMB Titan Tunnel we just made. Uh, I should get this somewhere. I'm going to put it as most recent here, which would be this right here. It's 30 seconds long. I'm only going to show the Titan Tunnel working because, like I said, it's the only thing I have done. So. We're going to hit bank, browse, and then here you're going to go to Titan Song. And then I had it set to 93, so we'll there. Make sure it's BK2, not BIK. This is not WWE Raw, so those files will not work. Yet. And then you're just going to hit bank and it's done. Wait a minute, wait, 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 no, no, no. I screwed up. Hang on. That sizing. I had that wrong. Okay. Let's get to the right screen here. Not that one. Uh-huh. There we go. Okay, so there's where we are. We want to change width and height. 1280 by 320. Now, I will have my guide that shows. I will copy and paste my notepad that says what sizes you need for each thing in the description below. I will also have links to where you can get these programs in the description below as well. Although, I can't tell you where to get After Effects, it's not free. So, I will tell you where to get Rad Videos. in the description below. Anyway, that being said, you hit browse. You got a Titantron. You know, you're going to replace 0093 with whatever number you want as long as it's in the uh, GFX placeholder. 
which now which comes with tribute these days. It's built in. Anyway, I have it as zeros. Make sure you end it with zeros. Zero. Let me rephrase it. It's gonna be that number, then the, then underscore zero, underscore zero, underscore three, because that's what the game reads as a custom Titan Tron. I believe. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. Zero zero one and zero zero two are gonna be for regular Titan Trons. If zero, it was zero one and two last year. I don't remember what it is this year. That's what I'm saying. Anyway, then hit bank and you're done. But you need one more thing. You're gonna need uh, was it Cake You, which is on the PWM Patreon. I'm not going to link that because I feel like anybody now, these days, anybody who wants to mod WWE 2K has it. So I'm not gonna link that. <clears throat> anyway, now that we're done, I'm gonna hop over to Cake Tools and I'm gonna show you what to do over there. So you're looking at the bank menu here in Cake Tools. You're gonna hit bank slash launch. Now, the, it's not going to show up as its own spot in the game. I just want to show you, I'm going to sh go in game in a minute, show you an example of graphics that I already have because Sasha's here are not complete yet. All right, so we've got that all baked. It should be coming up any second now. I mean, the game should be anyway. Let's pause. <clears throat> okay, so now we're in the game. Just waiting on the main screen. And I'm gonna show you all an example of graphics that actually do, that are actually finished and work. I have plenty. The Sasha ones are not done yet, though, like I said. So I can't show those. I will show those in a showcase a bit later. This song so much I'm starting to hate it. It just gets old after a while. I'll probably just turn it off, but anyway. Let's go down here. I'm gonna show you graphics that I've made that yes, they were they have the custom music with them. That's a whole different thing though, that's a tribute thing that I'll show later. Anyway, these are graphics that actually work. You see, there's the there's the uh, apron, there's the Titan Tron, the Mini Trons, and as you can see, everything works. Now she's part of a cheerleading stable. I'll introduce those later. Anyway, guys, with with her entrance being on screen now, and I will put her on CC later along with her friends. That's going to be it for this tutorial. Like, comment, subscribe, and thanks for watching. Good night, everyone.